Well, moving on, celebrity photographers, the paparazzi. It seems that they're everywhere. They camp outside the homes of stars. They stalk them while they're at lunch and even fight amongst themselves as they compete to get the shot. Well, VOA producer Dion Moses went behind the lens with a celebrity photographer in Los Angeles to see what it really takes to be part of the paparazzi. And our very own Rebecca Ward chased her down to tell us all about it. Looks like we have our own uh, paparazzi on set. Right here, baby. <laughs> Let's take a look. Just kind of a nice break from everything. The stories can be kind of outrageous sometimes, but they're kind of fun and a little different and um, a nice break just from everyday life. <laughs> they like to see your photos. What they don't like is how they perceive that you get the photos. It's a guilty pleasure of everybody in the world. I used to see celebs all the time, but it never really occurred to me that I could make money off of taking photos of them, and now I know I can, I do. I mean, TMZ, People Magazine, he's done interviews for Radar. He actually just did an interview for Time maybe a couple weeks ago before I found him. Um, he's, he's actually pretty popular. He has a long and lengthy history here in L.A. And he's apparently very good because the picture that he captured of Robert Redford at the airport was excellent. He did say it was great to be um, recognized for his work and that people find his photographs interesting and that they tell a story. And that's what he told me when he, fi when he films yeah. celebrities, he tries to capture everyone's face that's with the celebrity yeah. to tell a story, whether it's them hanging out with their children or them shopping or just um, to a loving couple walking down the street. Well, he realizes, of course, that there's a negative connotation that goes along with the, with the, the term paparazzi. It's not just photographer, he's paparazzi. So how does he deal with that? When I first asked Giles to do the interview, I said, I understand if you don't want to do it. And he said, no, he said, I'm not doing anything wrong. So I have no problems offering interviews, Where? letting you ride along with me. Where was Jayla? And he said, he's not, he said, they, people think that paparazzi are, they're bad people. He's like, we're not. He's like, it's, it's a job and there's a market out there for it, so we're feeding the market. You can't have it both ways, and when you have people like the Kardashians doing photo shoots with their children and um, you know, selling access to magazines, once they open that door, you just can't switch it off. So when it comes to children, though, um, do, do the paparazzi, do they have kind of a code of ethics when it comes to kids? Giles says that he does. He said some other paparazzi, they aren't like that. He says that he won't take a picture of a child if they're by themselves, or he won't wait outside of a school for a child and their parents to come pick them up. But he says he will take a picture of a parent with, of a child with their parent. He's just trying to get a picture of the celebrity doing their n normal and daily routine because the public likes that. It humanizes celebrities um, for the public. They want to be famous. They want to be talked about. If you're not being talked about, then you know you're not important. Like Heidi Klum says, one day you're in, the next day you're out. Who doesn't like their picture being taken? Did he tell you that? Because we know oh. we know that. Uh, oh, the Alec news, Baldwin. Has he taken his Alec picture? Alec Baldwin. He has. He says um, they've got they've gotten cursed out a lot. He says Halle Berry, she goes uh, pretty nuts when she's with her daughter, which is understandable. Um, he said, but for the most part, everyone's nice about it. Um, but I did notice that when when we saw um, Alessandra Ambrosio with her children. They definitely kept their distance, and they were telling each other, hey, back up, back up. It wasn't too crazy, but I have seen it. Um, it got pretty crazy, like you saw the video of Lady Gaga at the AMAs not too long ago. It was, it, that was pretty nuts. Is she there? No, is she in town? I think she's in town. And I don't even have my camera. Yeah, no, it's Robert Redford. Getting in the car. Tell me about the, um, the kind of chasing down Robert Redford. Right, so, um, we were only in the car for about 10 minutes. We're driving down, and I see this guy coming out of this normal, bland hotel. Somebody's carrying his bags behind him. He has a fancy scarf on, and another guy's opening the door. And I said, well, that guy looks pretty important. And he said, who? And then just as he said that, I hit the camera button, and I focused on him, and he was like, oh my god, that's Robert Redford. And so he did an illegal U-turn, and uh, we followed him to the airport. I was trying to be discreet, but in the instance of trying to get the story, I had to get out of the car and shoot Giles as well as shoot Robert Redford. Although it made me a little uncomfortable because I felt as though I was invading his privacy, but you know, when in Rome. VOA producer Dion Moses. Now the photographer in Dion's story has been arrested before because of his work and next year's job gets a little bit tougher though, a result of a new law that criminalizes taking pictures of celebrities' children.